first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face with my e.l.f. mineral face primer. I'm just putting that all over and then kind of patting it in where my pores are generally larger. So like around my cheeks and by my nose. Next, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Flash Palette to conceal my under eyes and any redness that I have. I'm going to use the green teal color to conceal redness and then I'm actually going to use the pink salmon -y color just right under my eyes as well. So like I said, putting the green one on any spots that I have that are a little bit redder and then the pink will go under my eyes. Next, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just go in and blend that into my skin. Just tapping it to make it all buff in. Next for my foundation base, I mixed together my Stila Illuminator and my Revlon Color Stay Foundation and then I just used my Beauty Blender to blend that all in. And now I'm going in with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm putting that over my under eyes again and then again on any red spots that I want to conceal just to cover up the green and the red that we already did. And then I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender and just buff that all in as well. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. HD Finishing Powder and I'm just going to take that on a Beauty Blender and go right under my eyes to help prevent creasing. And then I just let that powder stay there while I do my eyebrows and I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and this is what they look like. Very eyebrows, much fleek. Alright, next I'm going to use this Custard Color which is just a matte cream shade from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette 2. I'm just putting that all over my lid. And then next I'm going to use Tawny, which is a little bit softer brown. And I'm going to put that right in my crease and just windshield wiper motion that back and forth. Next I'm going to grab Goji, which is a very pretty maroon color. And I'm just going to go right in that same area. We're just really trying to define our crease. Next I'm going to take a red eyeshadow. I didn't film it, but it's called Pomegranate Red from the Coastal Sense palette. And I'm just putting that a little bit lower in the crease, but still in the general same area. I'm just blending away. Next, I'm going to take Dark Sienna, which is a dark brown shimmery shade. And I'm going to focus that on the outer half of my lid. So I'm really just trying to smudge it along the outer half. I'm also dragging my brush along as I do this, trying to kind of smoke it out as I go. Then I took a smaller brush and I'm taking that same dark sienna color and I'm focusing it on the inner corner and we're going to leave some room in the middle to add another color later. Or also I think it kind of looks bomb with just the center blank. So you could leave it like that too if you wanted. I definitely thought about just leaving it. Since I decided not to leave it blank, I'm going to go in with Penny which is a gold shimmer color and I'm just going to put that on the inner or the middle part of my lid. What is blank right now? So we're just going to fill in that blank spot with a gold shimmery color. And then I did also go back in with that dark sienna and the smaller brush just to darken up the outer and the inner corner a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more drama. Alright, to contour and highlight my face, I'm going to be using the flash palette again. I'm going to use the brown shade. And I am going to go right under my cheekbone and then also up around my hairline, under my jawline, and then down my nose as well. And then to highlight, I'm going to go in with the white shade because I'm super pale, so I'm literally going to highlight with white. And I'm just going above my cheekbones and then below, yep, just right in between that space. Yep, you can see what I'm doing. And then down my nose as well. And then I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and I'm just blending that all out. Next to give myself a little bit of a glow, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and I'm just going in the same places that I just contoured. So under my cheeks and up around my hairline as well. And then to define my cheekbone, I'm going in with my Hula Bronzer and a small brush and I'm just going to put that right under my cheekbone. And then to really make my cheekbones pop, I'm taking Chocolate Soleil which is a slightly darker bronzer and I'm just putting it up by my ears under my cheekbone. Next I'm taking this plum colored Palladio blush and I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks. And then to highlight, I'm taking this Smashbox highlighter, I think it's called Shimmer, 
and I'm putting it up on the top of my cheekbones and then up at the top of my arch over my eyebrow as well. Then I'm also going to run a little bit down my nose and above my cupid's bow. Next I'm just taking this CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner and I'm just tight lining my eyes. And then I'm taking this Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Liner. And I didn't film when I was actually doing it, but all I did was lay my felt tip liner down and then drag it across my eye. And then I used a ColourPop lipstick in Dahlia to finish out this glam look. So that is the finished look. I also added some falsies, which they are not on very well because I am horrible at them. So please don't yell at me. They're not on all the way. I can't do it. I just can't. But yeah, I think that this is gorgeous. I don't know. You could wear it any day, any time. Going to the bank, the grocery store. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. If you guys liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. And that's it. Have a good day, guys.